Welcome to Straight Talk, featuring Greg Middleton. This series is titled, The Genesis One Project. The podcast for today is, The Fall. I might add, that this is episode 2 in the series. Here is Greg with a message for today. A good day to each and every one of you. May our Heavenly Father richly bless you all. Today we will continue on with the Genesis Project. This will be episode two, The Fall. And for those of you who would like to follow along with us, we read from the NIV version of the Bible and we're starting in Genesis three, The Fall. Follow along if you like. But first, may our Heavenly Father add a blessing to the word as we read it. Selah. Now the serpent was more crafty than any of the wild animals the Lord had made. He said to the woman, Did God not really say you must not eat from the evening tree in the garden? The woman said to the serpent, We may eat fruit from the trees in the garden, but God did say, You must not eat fruit from the tree that is in the middle of the garden, and you must not touch it, or you will die. You will certainly not die. The serpent said to the woman, For God knows that when you eat from it, your eyes will be opened. You will be like God, knowing good from evil. When the woman saw the fruit of the tree was good for food and pleasing to the eye and also desirable for gaining wisdom, she took some and ate it. She also gave some to her husband who was with her and he ate it. Then the eyes of both of them were open, and they realized that they were naked. So they sewed fig leaves together and made coverings for themselves. Then the man and his wife heard the sound of the Lord as he was walking in the garden in the cool of the day. And they hid from the Lord God among the trees in the garden. But the Lord God called to the man. Where are you? He answered. I heard you in the garden and I was afraid because I was naked. So I hid. And he said. Who told you you were naked? Have you eaten from the tree that I commanded you not to eat from? The man said, The woman you put me here with, she gave me some fruit from the tree and I ate it. Then the Lord God said to the woman, What is this that you have done? The woman said, The serpent deceived me, and I ate. So the Lord God said to the serpent, Because you have done this, cursed are you above all the livestock and all the wild animals. You will crawl on your belly, and you will eat dust all the days of your life. And I will put enmity between you and the woman, 
and between your offspring and hers. He will crush your head and you will strike his heel. To the woman he said, I will make your pains in childbearing very severe. With painful labor, you will give birth to children. Your desire will be for your husband, and he will rule over you. To Adam he said, Because you listened to your wife and ate fruit from the tree about which I commanded you, you must not eat from it. Curses the ground because of you. Through painful toil, you will eat food from it all the days of your life. It will produce thorns and twistles for And you will eat the plants of the field. By the sweat of your brow, you will eat your food until you return to the ground. Says from it you were taken. For thus you are. And to thus you will return. Adam named his wife Eve because she would become the mother of all the living. The Lord God made garments of skin for Adam and his wife and clothed them. And the Lord God said, The man has now become like one of us. Doing good and evil. He must not be allowed to reach out his hand and take also from the tree of life and eat and live forever. So the Lord God banished him from the Garden of Eden to work the ground from which he had been taken. After he drove the man out, he placed on the east side of the Garden of Eden cherubims with a flaming sword flashing back and forth to guard the way to the tree of life. This is the story of Cain and Abel. Adam made love to his wife Eve and she became pregnant and gave birth to Cain. She said, With the help of the Lord, I have brought forth a man. Later she gave birth to his brother Abel. Now Abel kept flocks and Cain worked the soil. In the course of time, Cain brought some of the fruit of the soil as an offering to the Lord. Abel also brought an offering, fat portions from some of the firstborn of his flock. The Lord looked with favor on Abel and his offering, but on Cain and his offering, he did not look with favor. So Cain was very angry, and his face was downcast. Then the Lord said to Cain, Why are you angry? Why is your face downcast? If you do what is right, will you not be accepted? But if you do not do what is right, sin is crouching at your door. It desires to help you, but you must rule. 
Now Cain said to his brother Abel, let's go out to the field. While they were in the field, Cain attacked his brother Abel and killed him. Then the Lord said to Cain, Where is your brother Abel? I don't know, he replied. Am I my brother's keeper? The Lord said, What have you done? Listen, your brother's blood cries out to me from the grave. Now you are under a curse and driven from the ground, which opens his mouth to receive your brother's blood from your hand. When you work the ground, it will no longer yield his crops for you. You will be a restless wanderer on the earth. Cain said to the Lord, My punishment is more than I can bear. Today you are driving me from the land and I will be hidden from your presence. I will be a restless wanderer on the earth, and whoever finds me will kill me. But the Lord said to him, Not so. Anyone who kills Cain will suffer vengeance seven times over. Then the Lord put a mark on Cain so that no one who found him would kill him. So Cain went out from the Lord's presence and lived in the land of Nod, east of Eden. Cain made love to his wife and she became pregnant and gave birth to Enoch. Cain was then building a city and he named it after his son Enoch. To Enoch was born Erod, and Erod was the father of Mahuziel. And Mahujel was father to Methusiel. And Methusiel was the father of Lamach. Lamach married two women, one named Ada and the other Zillah. Ada gave birth to Jabal. He was the father of those who lived in tents and raised livestock. His brother's name was Jubal. He was father of all who played string instruments and pipes. Zila also had a son, Tubal Cain, who forged all kinds of tools out of bronze and iron. Tubal Cain's sister was Nema. Lamach said to his wives, Ada and Zila. Listen to me, wives of Lamar. Hear my words. I have killed a man for wounding me, a young man for injuring me. If Cain is avenged seven times, then Lamar seventy-seven times. Adam made love to his wife again, and she gave birth to a son and named him Seth, saying, God has granted me another child, in place of Abel, since Cain killed him. Seth also has a son, and he named him Enosh. At that time, people began to call on the name of the Lord. So far, we've attempted to dramatize our beginning to let you see how we, mankind, develop right off the top. If you are wondering why are humankind as they are today, you need only look back to the very beginning when they were hand placed in the Garden of Eden, walking freely with God himself. Now as the narrator of this material, with the right of being Moses inspired by God, I try not to judge 
but only to understand my past so I might improve upon my future. Thankfully, I did not have to solve the problem of the world using my mind because God has already done all that was required of me for me. All I need to do is accept his offering. To Almighty God be the glory. Selah.